And, you know, and like I said, that season I'd done really well, kept in contact with, with Gary, got my move to Sheffield Wednesday, um, spent two years there. And I think we, we um, Birmingham played us um, away. It was like in, in my last year, and you know we uh, we played the chef. we uh, we was at home and Birmingham was away, and after the after the game you know spoke to Gaz and he was like oh what are you doing at the end of the season I was like I'm out of contract, um he goes I'm coming to Birmingham and he was like oh I'll keep we love we're keeping we're keeping uh, in contact he goes um don't sign anywhere, and you know like in like I just thought like he's just bantering or whatever and then in the summer, um had a few options but, um having worked with him before. Um, kind of made my mind up because I knew exactly what I was getting getting myself into, um, going back um, and working with with Gaz, um, you know, and like I said, um, spent an amazing five years there at Blues. Um, do you think he was treated unfairly at Birmingham? Who, Gary? Yeah, in terms of him getting sacked. Um, I want to say, yeah, but like in football, football is ruthless. Do you know what I mean? There's no unfair. There's no fair. There's no, you know, pity. No one's going to be like, oh, yeah, he was like, it is what it is. Like, um, it's a it's a business. Um, and I, and honestly, I don't know whether he um, he wanted to go or he wanted to stay. He ended up getting a really good job at Derby. Um, at the end of the day, because he's a really good manager. Um, but yeah, I was just surprised that, you know, the the board or the chairman would let him go because we were doing so well that season. We were third or fourth um, in the league. So it was just a massive surprise to me and to everyone else. And, you know, it was sad to see him go because, like I said, um, he gave, he's, again, he gave me a chance um, at Birmingham um, and he, he really had really good players. I think Damari Gray was was still there when I joined. You know, they had Cottrell there, they had Andrew Shinney. You know, there's so many good players at the time. And, you know, for him to bring me in, and like I said, the, the only way I could repay to repay him was give him performances and, you know, and score goals and, and you know, and be, and be a, a team player, um, which I thought I, I did really well for him, um, which I've always done. Um, you know, and I still keep in contact with him. So, you know, he, he's he's probably like my, I'll probably say my favourite um, out of all the managers I worked under. Yeah. In terms of those managers then, so there was Zola, there was Redknapp, there was Cottrell that came in as well. Um, I can tell by your face, you're a little bit... No. Yeah, it, it was a tough time because you think about it, in, in a five-year period, I had, I think it was seven managers I think seven managers. So if we go through, so we had Gary Rowett, um, Zola, Cottrell, Harry Redknapp. Um, who else? Was he, Gary. Was, he at, was he at Spurs when you were there, Harry Redknapp? Yeah. 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 He, <laughs> to be fair, when that, the year that I left to go to, Bur to, to go to Burton, I, I ended up speaking to him and, you know, and he said, listen, so, so, so I'll, I'll go knock on his office. So I knock on his office, and and you know the secretary comes in. And goes, he's not in. He's not in right now, but he'll be here in five minutes. So I was like, can you tell him I want to see him? So she went in when like she said, oh, when he came in, she said, oh, Jack Magoma wants to see you, and and he was like, who? <laughs> so I, don't even, I don't even know him. So I ended up I ended up going in 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 his office, and he was like, listen, lad, I don't I don't know who you are. Um, I, I'm, I'm literally what just working with the first team. And this was the period where I was like, um, before him, Mark, with Martin Yo and Chris Uton, I was training with the first team. I was up there. Um, and then, you know, things changed. One day Ramos came in and then, you know, you end up not being involved. You're just with the reserves. And he, like, when I spoke to him, like, he was, at first he was like, listen, I don't know who you are, but I can help you. Um, on going out on loan, um, getting some games, and then we'll see where we are at come at, come at the end of the season. And, and he sent me to Bournemouth. He sent me to Bournemouth, but the problem with Bournemouth was is that they didn't have a chairman. They were literally, yeah, they, they were literally, they had no money. So I would literally have to go there and literally just play for free, basically. That's, that's what it was. And I was just like, no, I can't do that. I've got to live, like, do you know what I mean? And 
And I ended up going to Burton, but then Bournemouth got back to back promotions that season. Like it's really? so, it's so crazy, isn't it? Like decision making or like little things. But like, like I said, I think my path was it is it, it's meant to be the way it's, it it was. Um, yeah. So with with Harry, Harry was always good, but he would. I think when he came to Birmingham, I don't think it was it was the right time where it was the it was the right move for the club. Um, I think. Yeah. Ha- it was more so to me it just felt more like a you know trying to get a name in and a money at like you know it, it didn't feel like okay we're gonna get a manager in that's gonna help us build the club and the team it's more so we get a name in to try and yeah it didn't feel right yeah. uh, how do you deal with that change in dressing room does that impact the, the players uh, i presume transfers are impacted as well like does it cause a little bit of animosity with the dressing room? Does it cause confusion? You know, you one manager's playing a certain way and you fit the style, and then all of a sudden someone else comes in and it changes the the, the shape of the team, and you question where you fit within that, and then they've got their own culture, their own philosophy. How how do you deal with that? Because at Birmingham, as you said, there were so many changes, and mm. that, that must be conf- that, that must cause some chaos. Within dressing uh, rooms, like we had a good change room, though. I got to say, we had we had a really good changing room. Like the five years I spent there, like the the dressing room was like was tops. Um, we had we had really good lads. We had some senior players in there, um, and you know, it didn't really. It, it, there were some some. I, I think I'll probably say one or two managers that probably. You know, effect it like which affected the the dressing room a little bit, um, but the rest weren't weren't that bad. Um, I think I'll probably say Gary Monk was really good. Um, I'll say Steve Cottrell was was okay at times. Was 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 good. Um, yeah, but then the the re- the rest I'll probably say that there weren't there weren't good times to be honest. There weren't good times. 